Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Todd Coons, and if you've never been here before, thanks for showing up and thanks for watching this video. I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. I am not usually a fan of the videos where people say, you know, what's in my bag and they show you everything. Typically, to me, those come across a little on the braggadocious side. Everybody's kind of showing off what they have. You know, YouTubers do that. Professional photographers don't really do that. So that being said, I hope this doesn't come across as a what's in my bag kind of video because that's really not my intention. My intention as a professional photographer is to kind of show you the gear that I use, not brag about the gear that I use. So what I want to talk about today is my bag that I take everywhere I go specifically for stock photography. Now this, you could apply this to any kind of photography that you do, but for me, by and large, this is the camera and the gear that I take everywhere I go so that I am always prepared to do stock photography because that's a lot of what I do. Okay, so the bag that I take is right here. This is all there is to it. You've probably heard me talk about this on the channel. I love my Fuji X100V. This is the case that came with it when I purchased it. To be honest with you, I wasn't really excited about the bag. It just was a freebie that came with uh, the order at B&H, but it's actually turned out to be pretty handy. Obviously, it's not very big. It's easy to put in my car, carry along with me, no big deal. But in the bag, I have two things. Um, one, I have a light. I'll talk about that here in just a second. And then, of course, the Fuji X100V. Super simple camera. I've got a review about this. If you want to check that out, I'll try to link to that. But for me, this is just a nice, easy, simple, take everywhere I go camera. It's got an F2 as a widest aperture, so I can do a lot of low light type of things. So I've got the camera of choice that's easy to take with me everywhere I go, produces phenomenal images. But I'm gonna tell you the difference between a good photographer and a great photographer. And listen, stock photography is a very competitive field. There's a lot of people doing it, and you've gotta do that thing that separates you from everybody else. And that's not just the camera, but that's lighting. So you saw me pull it out of the bag initially. I purchased this Loom Cube little light. It's an LED light, fits in that bag perfectly. I take it everywhere I go, and I will show you the difference between having ambient light only and having the ability to have an extra light because you're not always gonna get perfect lighting everywhere you go. Let me give you a quick example. Even outside in the daylight, I was in my backyard the other day, photographed this frog. Happened to be a little tree frog on one of my uh, plants in the back. And just taking the camera, point, shoot, take the image, it was nice. But to add the light to one side made it much more dramatic. And a lot of times stock buyers and clients, they may not know the difference in the two photographs, but they see that there is a difference. And trust me, lighting is always gonna be the difference. So let me quickly show you how I use the light in combination with the camera to get simple stock shots. First I'll take the photograph without just the window light on this side. And it's a decent looking shot, but now I'm going to add the second light. Now, as you can see in that shot, I had some pretty decent light coming through that big window. However, the Loom Cube made it even better. There are times for sure where it's so dark that you have no good ambient light and the Loom Cube becomes your main light. So that's a very much a benefit as well. Now, a little plug about this. I'm certainly not sponsored by Loom Cube at all. The nice thing about these little LED lights, um, you can change the color temperature. I have it set to daylight. Uh, but you can change that Kelvin temperature up and down. You can change the power. Um, I don't know how well this will work if you guys can see it, but at the moment I only have it on 25% power, so I can get it. There's 100% power. And it's just nice. You can, you can turn it up and down. You can change the color temperature. There's a lot of control. This is a very simple one. I think I paid $50 for it. I might have said that already. But a huge benefit to have in my bag it's small, it's easy to carry around. It's got this uh, nice little cover on it as well if you want a little bit harsher light. Doesn't really change the exposure too much, but it does make it softer when you put this on, which 99% of the time I've got this on, so nice and simple. So that's all I got today, short and simple. I hope it inspired you a little bit to get out there 
and take some better quality photographs rather than just point and shoot because it doesn't take a whole lot to take it just a little step higher and uh, trust me if you're not doing it the next guy's doing it and his images are selling and yours are not so what can I say hey guys thanks for watching as always if you would please hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up I would greatly appreciate it if you have a comment or a question let me know about that too I love answering all your questions and reading your comments so keep that up appreciate it I will see you guys in the next video have a great day